Pets love to play with toys, and stores like mine are filled with all kinds of toys for your pets. There's edible toys, noisy toys, interactive toys, and destructible toys. But which ones are the right ones for your pet? Welcome to Pet Keeping. Today we'll meet a mom whose French bulldog doesn't understand which are his toys and which belong to the kids. Plus, I'll answer my customers' questions about toys for young pets, old pets, and pets who are very hard to please. All coming up right here on Pet Keeping with me, Mark Marone. and this is Theodore Durey, also known as Teddy Monster. Teddy, Teddy Monster, is a French Bulldog, and he will be 13 on October 18th. <laughs> Teddy, stop it. Okay, you stay that way. When we met his owner, she goes to put a leash on him, and the minute the leash goes on, he does 360 turns over and over again. So my husband and I look at each other, and we're like, this is a psycho dog. Little did we know that was the very first time Teddy had ever had a leash put on him. Eventually he got tired and passed out and he slept on my lap and I couldn't give him back at that point. He was mine forever. I could put on rollerblades, hang on to his leash and he'd take me around the block. He plays like a maniac for two hours, four hours and sleeps for 20. And he keeps the boys in check. When they're doing something wrong, he's usually the one to tell me. Now that Teddy's 13 and I know that that's a big thing for French Bulldogs, I try and make it a point to always kiss him goodbye in the morning and hello when I get home and at night again. Because... <laughs> I'm sorry. I get scared. <laughs> It's Teddy Bear. Where is he? I can't see him. Oh! oh. Yeah. Teddy, Teddy. <laughs> Teddy, sit, babe. Oh, you really Good boy. Really, 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 really <laughs> I was wondering if you could help us find some food toys. Sure. He's got a big mouth. I said he likes to chew on things. <laughs> yeah. But I'm a little concerned because he's already 13, and um, I've heard stories of my friend's dogs losing teeth, and I want Teddy to keep his. Well, he's got a jaw like a bear trap, so I personally don't think that'd be an issue. But when you take him to your vet for his dental cleanings, because his teeth should be dental once a year at this age, especially. He does. That, he goes to annual. Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if the vet thought there would be a problem with that, he would tell you right off, because he can tell the condition of the teeth and the roots just by how his gums look. Yeah. So that would, you know, listen to the vet rather than what your friends are telling you. So he could still play with his regular chew toys. Yeah, as long as the dress says his teeth are in good shape, then that's not an issue. I'm trying to figure out a way how to help Teddy understand the difference between his toys and the kids' toys. Uh, to a dog, there's no such thing as a toy. There's objects laying around the world that he gets to interact with. In a perfect world, there wouldn't be any kids' toys laying around, and Teddy would only have his own toys to play with, and so he would get used to only playing with those toys because he feels most comfortable with them. If you let your dog choose his own toys, then he will. But if you want him to play with only specific toys, then be sure those are the only toys that are available to him. He may be 13, but he's in fine shape, so stop thinking of him as a senior dog. He says he wants to be called mature. Uh, yeah. Well, it's really not all that simple to find the right toy for you.